Okay, here's what we got. About two uh, 38 teeth chain rings from Amazon for the BBS HD. Already loosened everything up so I can uh, check the metal and it's grinding uh, directly onto the BBS HD housing. And uh, I think it needs a one millimeter offset. A 38 tooth chain ring is the smallest that will fit on a stock uh, BCD 130 spider. As you can see here, see here it's a 130 millimeter BCD. This is a stock Bafang spider. And what's hap what happens is the back bolts here that hold the chain ring onto the spider itself that grinds on the the bbs hd housing i didn't know that prior to buying these i didn't think it would be much of a difference because uh, my original gear that i had on here was a 39 tooth and i never had any issues with it but the uh, problem with the 39 was not a narrow wide chain ring so the chain would jump every once in a while and that's the benefit of a narrow wide gear. It pretty much stops the chain from jumping. Uh, so uh, on hard bumps, I mean, it would take a hard bump, but it would jump off the front gear uh, every once in a while. One tooth difference between 38 and 39 wouldn't make much of a difference. In this particular case, uh, I'm running a, a Sturmy Archer SX RK3. Uh, internal geared hub with a 24 tooth on the Sturmy Archer and a 38 on the front. And that gives me approximate gear ratio. I think it's like a 1.58 to 1 gear ratio, which actually gives me pretty decent top end speed of 27 miles an hour. And that's with me on it at uh, 250 pounds. So it does perform quite well. Uh, and that's 48 volt. Uh, uh, 24, 24 amp hour dual batteries. But the problem is, is these here are rubbing on the stock housing. These, uh, back nuts for the chain ring bolts rub on the housing. That's what that silver ring is here. It grounded down, and that was in less than a less than a mile away. I went over to the local bike shop, and that's exactly what happened. Uh, I realized they had a quite a weird noise going over, and then I said, "Oh, okay, no big deal. It's probably something, whatever." And then I realized uh, when I got over there that it was actually grinding on the housing of the BBS HD. Luckily, the BBS HD is about four or five millimeters thick. I can't remember exactly, but it's, it's pretty thick. So it's not actually critical at this moment in time. But I think it's grounded down to the point to where it actually clears. Because I think what you need to do, if you do buy a 38 tooth um, gear like this, I bought two of them. Because, um, you know, I got two BBS HD kits on my bikes. Um, you need to buy a, like a one millimeter spacer here for the BBS HD uh, stock spider to offset it one millimeter so it these will clear the stock housing on the BBS HD. If you don't, this is the result. It grinds because these bolts are hardened steel. What's going to give this aluminum housing or these bolts? The aluminum housing is going to uh, give first. You know, that's why it's ground down to a perfect circle. Because of these bolts did it. And there's hardly any kind of... Yeah, there's scratching on the bolts, but... <laughs> they're basically... Nothing's wrong with them. They're not really actually ground down. 
they're just shinied up a little bit. But uh, just for your information, if you get one of these, uh, you'll know. I hope it helps somebody. Thanks for watching.